Bruins. Bruins. I'm Todd. And I'm Gabriel. We are anchors for Tuesday, November 6th. Please, Please stand, stand for, for the pledge. pledge. Today is National Saxophone Day. Your lunch options for today will include chicken smackers, cheese knots, and mozzarella cheese sticks. Our sides today are green beans, dinner roll, assorted fresh fruit, and veggie tray. In national news, a mysterious duck appeared at the New York Central Park. Here's CNN with the video. Look at him go. But I took, you know, a couple hundred. It's because it's a rare bird, and I was trying to get some action shots, and I got some of it flying. an incredible gift to New York. This is a wonderful opportunity to see a beautiful animal. It's beautiful. That's the thing that, that's getting people's imaginations fired. Right, it's the most beautiful duck probably in the world. Might have got away, or someone might have got tired of it and dumped it. Cu customers at California Donut Shop are buying out donuts every day so the owner can leave to spend time with his wife who is recovering from brain, brain, urani, ur ur uh, I'm you're seeing him with the video. Yeah, you're good. They're buying out a donut shop every morning. Here's why. So the owner can close early and spend time with his ailing wife. The couple has been running Donut City just south of L.A. for three decades. Last month, the wife had an aneurysm and is recovering. Word spread, though, on social media. Now customers have started buying donuts a dozen at a time for the man. I feel very very warm and I just I can say thank you very much. It's a blessing really. You know, we need we need more people like that to just help everybody out. I really believe that something like this, bringing community together, is just I don't know, something we really need right now. Yeah, well said. Because of that support the owner is sometimes able to close as early as ten AM to see his wife. Lowe's is closing 51 stores due to their underperforming sales in these specific stores. The only one in Indiana is northwest of the state near Gary. The CEO stated that it is a part of a strategic move to make the business stronger. The reason they are not having the sales because they need is Home Depot is better than them by already making strategic moves. Now to Isaiah with Sports and Mother. Thank you, anchors. Today will be a high of 52 degrees with a low of 38 degrees and a 20% chance of rain. Tonight is the first at-home boys basketball game. Seventh is at 5.30 and eighth is at 6.30. Students attending the game must go home following the must go home following school and return when the doors open at 5. Our school, our school building closes 15 minutes after the end of our home basketball games. Students should have rides here no later than 7.30. Lawrence Township Youth Lacrosse is offering indoor winter lacrosse clinics on November 13th and December 4th. Registration is $20 and open to all Lawrence families with athletes U8, U10, and U12. Now back to our anchors. The Belzer Book Fair continues today from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. in the Media Center. Plan to get a good book this week. There are many good books under $5 that you can purchase all week long. Here's a look at two more of the books you will find at the book fair.
everyone. This is Jason Reynolds, New York Times best-selling author, and I'm here today to talk to you about my new novel, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. You ever feel like you got spidey senses? Like, you know that strange tingling feeling inside when your mom or maybe your teacher catches you doing something you knew you weren't supposed to be doing? Or maybe your spidey senses kick in when somebody else is hiding something? You know what it's like to feel like your life is falling apart before your very eyes. There's this one scene where Miles is at the school Halloween dance and uh, he's getting his spidey senses are going crazy and he's all over the place and he's feeling very strange and he can't tell if it's something that's bad about to happen or if he's having um, some anxiety because of this young lady that he's trying to, uh, to impress and then he discovers that there's a tunnel under the school and he, he goes into the tunnel and he runs all the way to the end of the tunnel and when he comes out of the tunnel there's something there that I can't tell you about. But what he sees when he comes out of that tunnel changes the entire story and everything gets crazy from there on out. Can Miles face his struggle and save his friends and his family and his neighborhood? Find out in my new novel, Miles Morales Spider-Man, at your Scholastic Book Fair. My name is Haya Linder. When the Nazis occupied Poland, they sent most Jews, like me, to death camps or ghettos. The ghettos are horrible places. Entire sections of the city walled up and made into a prison. Inside is nothing but overcrowding, starvation, and death. The only hope is escape. But not for me. My job is to break in. I smuggle in false papers, clothes, weapons, food. But this is only the beginning. The real resistance is about to begin. Look for my story, Resistance, at your Scholastic Book Fair. Tomorrow, November 7th, is the open house for the Lawrence is an open house for Lawrence Central from 6 to 8 p.m. Come and see all academic, athletics, performing arts, clubs, and activities offered at LC. There will be building tours and refreshments. Lawrence North will be hosting its open house on November 8th from 6 to 8 p.m. And McKinsey Center for Innovation and Technology will have their open house on next week on the 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. Congratulations to Tiana Williams for her third place finish at Belzer's first ever speech and debate competition. She placed in the discussion category. Well done. Belzer PFO is still collecting box tops. Remember to collect and bring in box tops. The celebrity birthday is Andres Silva, who is a soccer player for FC Porto. A random fact of the day is that George Washington invented instant coffee. There's no further announcements. Have followed by... by an, there will be a informational video for Veterans Day. Have, Have a great, great day, day Bruins. Bruins.